Here are some tidbits about the binomial distribution. First of all, a binomial NP random variable is the number of successes in a binomial random experiment as was defined earlier. Second of all, there is a shorthand that is used. The way you read this shorthand is the random variable X is distributed as a binomial random variable with parameters N and P. And again, we write out the word binomial here. Other authors will abbreviate it. Number three, the probability mass function values turn out to be successive terms in the expansion of 1 minus P plus P to the N power. If you don't simplify this expression on the inside and you raise it to the N power, then what you're going to get is a 1 minus P raised to the Nth power as the first term and a p to the nth power as the last term and all the terms in between it turns out there are going to be a total of n plus one terms and each one of those terms is the same as the probability mass function of the binomial distribution one other thing to notice here is if you do decide to go ahead and add one minus p and, and p you get one and one raised to the n power is just one and that is showing the existence condition, one of the existence conditions, for any discrete distributions, discrete distribution, which is the sum over the support script A of f of x has to sum to 1. And that actually shows that in that particular case. So those are the origins of the probability mass function of the binomial distribution. Fourth point, the moment generating function, population mean, population variance are most easily derived by treating the binomial random variable x as the sum of a bunch of mutually independent Bernoulli random variables, each with parameter p. So maybe we want to put a parameter p in here. And that turns out to be nice in terms of doing the derivations, but unfortunately we have not yet defined mutual independence. So we're going to be doing all of these the hard way in the slide or slides coming up. Finally, the last thing here is a binomial NP distribution will reduce to the Bernoulli P distribution when N equals 1, which is to say the Bernoulli distribution is a special case of the binomial distribution. In fact, you could draw a figure that expresses all of that. If here we have a binomial distribution with parameters n and p, and down at the bottom here I'm going to put in a Bernoulli distribution with single parameter p. Put circles around both of them. It turns out that if you want to go from a Bernoulli to the binomial distribution, the way you do that is you take n mutually independent Bernoulli random variables, each one of them has the same distribution, and you add them up, and that is the point to this fourth bullet right here. Now if you look at the fifth bullet point, it says that the binomial reduces to the Bernoulli. So if you want to go in the other direction, how do you make a binomial random variable into a Bernoulli? You just let n equals 1 and it collapses down to the Bernoulli.